Hello everyone, this is Richard, and this is episode 24 of Richard Plays Minecraft. And, um, if you guys remember, last episode, I, um, decided we were gonna build some stables here. And so I built this, um, pathway through it, and I came up with what I was gonna kind of do in creative mode. So now we're just gonna finish it, I think. Um, let me grab... I wanted to build it at both jungle wood and oak wood. I'm gonna try and make it match the houses we have, like those in the village, and this. So, um, let's start with the jungle wood, and I'm gonna build some pillars. So I'm gonna build a 3 by one pillar here, I think, yeah, and a 3 by one pillar here. Okay, and then, we're gonna have to count, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Okay, so I'm gonna need to build two by one pillars here, and two by one pillar here. And then we're gonna build two more here and here. And the next thing I wanna do is add some jungle leaves in front of it, because the um, other buildings in the village, this, and the houses over there, you probably can't see, but if you remember when we built them, I added jungle leaves. Oh, wait, these are off. Okay. I didn't- I failed to line these up correctly. Let me just line these up real quick. And luckily we still have enough jungle leaves, since I don't have any shears with me. Okay, so I just want to put the torches out because lighting is going to be really important when we're building this. So, torch that way, torch that way. Okay. Here and here. 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 And there. Oh, and I messed that up, actually. Should be like that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna have for the pillar supports. So the next thing I want to build is the stalls themselves. So we're gonna have three stalls on each side, basically. And, um, that was my plan at least. But I want to make the area in the center dirt, and so we're gonna have to block it off by placing stone here. So anyway, I forgot, but a while back when I, um, covered this whole area in with, um, dirt, there was, I just kind of cheated and just went over it. So there's, um, like huge holes in the ground still, as you can see. So we're just gonna fill this in. And then I'm going to put stone here, so that when we replace this grass with dirt, no um, grass can grow back again in that area. And we're going to have to do the same here. And again, the same on this side. I do think I have a shovel with me, actually. Yep, I do. So we'll just put that, take it out. Of course, it's wearing out, but... And a lot of people always ask me to make, um, I hear a zombie, but I can't tell where he is. A lot of people always ask me to make iron tools, and, um, for simple stuff, I never saw the reason why. I go, I will wind up going through a lot more iron than I need to, and they don't, it's, they're not really that much better, so. I mean, we have diamonds now. For those of you who don't know, I have 27 diamonds in my chest. So, I'm not really worried about resources, I just don't want to waste the freaking iron. Since I don't go mining much in this world, which is why I don't even have any iron armor. I used to have some iron armor, but I'm going on a rant. So, we will put the rest of the fence down, and I'll show you how I wanted to split up the stalls. So we're going to put the fence here, um, and I want to leave an opening for me. Also, I'm going to probably get rid of the dirt here or the grass and dirt there because it's causing these to link together and you can see it doesn't look that good I'll probably do that off camera though because it's kind of a waste of time to do on camera so this is where we're gonna put the fence gate and then I'm gonna use fence gates to split the soles themselves so um, these stalls on each side will be about two and a half and the one in the center will only be one so I'm gonna use fence gates to split them because they look much thinner than fences and so they look much better at like splitting stalls apart so we're just going to do it like that. 
like that. And then a horse will be in each of these. So I'm going to add the fence to this. I'm going to add fence here, of course. And we need some fence here. And I need to replace that with a fence gate. And two and a half, so one, two, and there. Okay, so we have the skull set up and we have the pillars part set up. And um, the last thing we need to do is the roof, and I'm going to do that off camera because it's a little too long and complex to do. I'll show you guys what it'll look like, though, when we get back, and I think you guys are really going to like it. Okay, I'm back, and I wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like. So when I left off, I said that I did, was going to do the roof off camera, and so I completed the roof. It's um, a bunch of half slabs and stairs basically combined together, which is pretty much the way the roof over here is. If you look, these are basically a bunch of half slabs and stairs. So I wanted to keep a very similar style. Um, I'll just climb onto it so you guys can get a better look. But um, yeah, so I have this here to um, for a support beam basically that's under there. And um, I thought it looked, I thought the roof came out very good. And let me show you the changes I made inside. I fixed the um, I fixed the grass and changed it into dirt. I think it looks cooler to have the dirt. And um, I replaced this, the grass here, with um, stone because the grass from under this was actually coming and um, coming in there and growing it back again. Also, this here's a support beam. 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 I um, was talking about earlier, and I chose to make it different from the jungle wood because I thought it would be cool to have a mix of both jungle wood and um, regular wood. So um, yeah, we're gonna do a few more things before we end the episode. I've got a few other ideas of stuff to do. But um, anyway, I'll be back. Okay, everyone. Um, I am here, and this is obviously where the old farm was. If you remember last episode, let me just go over there real quick. We added the farm here. And um, I just wanted to show you guys where this one was, or the old one was. But more than that, we're going to start, um, like I'm doing right now, we're going to start um, getting rid of it. And I really wanted to ask you guys a question which is what should I put in this area now since it's gonna be empty and um, I wanted to get your opinions on it I mean I'm thinking it could just be left um, and there could be a few changes and it could just be left flat and like open I think it would be a pretty cool balcony but um, I was wondering if you guys wanted that or if there was a specific structure you wanted me to put here so um, I'll just work on this and while I work on replacing this area with um, Wood. I wanted to get your. I wanted to tell you guys what um we're going to do next in the episode. So um let me just come here real quick and show you something again. But as you can see over here, this is some nether wart. Actually, three of it. Let me just replant it. And um, that's proof that nether wart can grow in the overworld. And since I don't really have a base in the nether yet, I'd almost like to make a nether wart farm in the um, overworld. And so I think I'm going to do that. Let me just grab some buckets to get that water in. But um, I think I'm going to do that. And um, we're going to build it. I want to build it somewhere else separate from everything else we built. And I want to build it at our jungle base because we have not built much there. Other than the um, chicken farm, there's not much of huge significance there. So my plan is to build that there and um, to kind of spruce in the area up to kind of give it more of a real point to go to since there's really right now no point in going there. Gosh, I didn't realize that 64 um, wood would not be enough. I did not realize there was this much. So let me pick up that water. And I must be out of inventory space now, which is not good. Anyway, I guess I'll finish this off camera then. And um, we'll be back then building the um, nether wart farm. Okay, I am back. And um, I got the supplies we're going to need. I got some nether wart. I got some soul sand. Um, that was just all I could um, scavenge from my inside of my base and my storage room. So um, when we need more, I'll go out later, probably next episode or off camera and get it. Anyway, you can see I um, did some more changes to this in addition 
to um, turning all that. I also turned all the stone to wood, and um, I added the fences here finally. Anyway, I still need to eventually get to add the fences to the rest. But I wanted to actually walk to the jungle base on camera. Just for those of you who probably missed the episodes in the previous series, I know I get a fair amount of new subscribers every day, and some of you may have never seen a Richard Plays Minecraft episode, or may not have seen when I got my jungle base. So um, I want to um, make sure those people know. So basically I built this boardwalk to my jungle base. There was a creeper explosion a while back, I never got to fix that. And um, I call it the jungle base because... It's my base in the jungle, basically. It's not much of a base. Um, probably, if you've seen episode 22, where um, I did the chicken coop, that was where I, the, probably the most recent episode that I was in there a lot. And um, I think episode 5 or 6 was the video episode where I originally found it. But that episode is so old and so bad that it's going to be archived soon. All of my old episodes are basically going to be archived soon, and I'll put them on my website for download for people who really want to see it. So, um, as you can see, this is the base itself, and um, this is the area I just added just now where we're going to add the nether ward itself. Now, I know this is probably pretty simple, but what I'm going to do is everything past this cobblestone barrier is going to be um, the farm. And then I'll just expand that eventually, and eventually I'll expand this way. I hear a spider somewhere. I doubt he's in my base, but... Oh, and for those of you who did not see the chicken coop, this is the main chicken coop. And then I have the smaller one I built last episode that I actually used to kill the chickens and harvest them for their feathers. So we're going to actually go and build the, um, the nether wart farm now. And I, I know I don't have enough resources probably, but we'll at least put it, them in place. So I had 38 soul sand I was able to find. And actually, this might be enough. Yeah, it even slows you, even in the overworld. And, yeah, that's enough, actually, surprisingly. Not a whole lot, but, uh, not a whole lot of enough, but. That means then, 38 minus 6 is 28. So we're not going to have enough nether wart, but we're going to have close. Oh, 38 minus 6. 38 minus 6 is 32. I don't know why I said 28. I was thinking of 34, I guess. Okay, so we're not going to have quite enough nether wart, but after a few harvests of it, it should be good. So, that's probably going to be about it for this episode. I know, again, it was short, but that's kind of the thing about getting episodes out more frequently. Now that I'm on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload schedule, my uploads are going to be a lot shorter than they used to be. Wow, that one already grew a little bit. They're going to be a lot shorter than they used to be. Oh, it still only gave me one. That's odd. I thought it would give me two then, since it was in the second stage. But um, my episodes are going to be a lot shorter than they used to be. But because they're going to be more frequent, I figure it makes up for itself. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Richard out.